Hi, boys and girls and parents. This is Mrs. Miller, and I just wanted to go over um, story problems and what that looks like in first grade. So if you are doing these at home, um, that way we can all do them the same way, um, or if the kids need a refresher, they can watch this and um, you guys can help them along. So this first problem we have is just a simple addition problem. It says, Dad had two burgers on the grill. He put four more burgers on the grill. How many burgers are on the grill now? So we just wanna think about it kind of like a story and put down the first thing that we know. The first thing we know is that he has two burgers and then think about what happens in the middle. He puts on four more um, and we, we have to think about, okay, is this adding or subtracting? So if our number is getting bigger and he's adding the burgers, then our number should get bigger and it's adding. So we are going to start off by drawing our circles and we draw open circles in first grade like that and um, in a row of five if we can. So I'm gonna show two burgers in the beginning and then in the middle he added four more. And sometimes we like to leave a space like this so we can see the two parts of the story. Um, so, and then we write our number sentence. So we started off with two burgers and then dad added four more and that equals six, okay? The last thing the kids have to do for a story problem is to circle their answer. And we want them to think about it like what number was the number they were trying to figure out. The question is how many burgers are on the grill now? So we have to figure out what number shows that. He started with two, they told us that, and he added four more, they told us that. We did not know how many he had in the end. So this is our number. Okay, we don't, we want the kids to understand that just because that number is after the equal sign doesn't mean it's always going to be the answer. Okay, for this next problem, uh, it says Kevin has 18 books. He gave seven of them to his friend Sophia. How many books does Kevin still have? So if Kevin starts with 18 books and he's giving them away, our number is getting uh, smaller and so it's subtraction. So if I think about it like the story, in the beginning, he has 18 books. So that's what I'm gonna draw first. So open circles in a row of five, and then a new row. And what this does is it helps the kids see uh, their picture kind of like in a 10 frame. It helps them stay organized with it, and then later they can be able to count it more accurately and easier. So I can tell five, 10, this will be 15, 16, 17, 18. So they're all lined up and organized. So if he's giving them away and it's subtraction, we're gonna show that by just simply crossing off a circle, not erasing it, because we wanna see their work. So just cross it off um, and we'll cross off seven. So when we go to write our number sentence, we just write what we started with. In the beginning of the story, we knew Kevin had 18 books. That's what we drew first. And we took away seven of them that he gave to his friend, and we are left with 11. Now we have to circle our answer, and we figure out which number to circle by figuring out what number we had to um, solve for. So we knew he had 18 books, we knew he gave seven of them away. The number we didn't know was 11, so that's the answer we're gonna circle. The last problem I wanna show you is a missing add-in problem. So a missing add-in problem is kind of like the middle number is missing. So in our story we say we have nine frogs that were in the pond. Some more frogs jumped in. Now there are 17 frogs in the pond. How many frogs jumped in? So in the beginning of our story, we know that there are nine frogs, so we're gonna draw that. And then in the middle here of the story, we, we know some more frogs joined, so we know we're adding more frogs, we just don't know how many. So nine plus an amount is gonna give us the 17 frogs we have at the end of our story. So this is the number, the missing add-in that we have to figure out. And we can do this by counting up. So I start with nine, and I like to leave a little space so I can count the difference. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And I'm gonna stop at my number there. 
So the amount that I added was eight, okay? They told me in my story that I have nine frogs first in the pond and that some more came and they told me that I had 17 at the end. So 18 is the number I didn't know and that's my answer.